23 years ago, I had to come here to Hardy Street and have a test. I wanted to buy my first house. To get life insurance against the property, it required a blood test. But a new disease had just hit the world. And I was in this high-risk group of gay men. So why here in Britain in 2007 does HIV AIDS rarely make the headlines? It's almost got to the stage now where people don't worry about HIV anymore. Do we know who's being infected today? I mean, this is what HIV looks like. It's just the granny sitting next to you on the train. Do we still contract it in the same way? What is it, Carla? What is it? Because you've got AIDS. Is risky behaviour on the rise again? There are people out there that really get off on dangerous sex. What I do know is that there are now three times as many people with HIV in Britain as there were 10 years ago. In 50 minutes, you'll be able to tell me whether I'm HIV positive. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that is extraordinary. And you can still see the destructive force of AIDS in Britain today. But you don't really expect to see Christmas this year? No. I want to know exactly what AIDS means here in the first decade of the 21st century in Britain and around the world. <laughs>